Hi folks, welcome back Bonnie Lad Adventures and today's adventure is going to be another extreme stealth camp that's what it's like so it's about time I did another one so it's just down here basically it's going to be one metre I don't know if you can see from that road in some bushes down there like I said seems to be the extreme stealth comes one metre from public that everybody likes to see so I'm going to keep on doing them and it's just down here <laughs> here we go again and I'm cooking beef oh can't remember the can't remember the ingredients I'll so, um, one of them blue dragon things with beef and uh, stir fry and things like that so that's going to be nice basically coming up to it now it's down there right next to that road not much coverage like but in this path oh, I'm going to have to cover it up good but I'll take you down I obviously I'm going to take you down <laughs> you want to sit stand here oh right let's get in oh, oh. Mr. Peebly Stick up the wreck oh, Good mind. Crack on. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay. Oh. Here we are. One metre from a main road. And the path in plain sight up there. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll get my tarp out. I'll put my tarp with the back facing towards the path and the open end facing towards the woods. It'll be getting dark soon. And it's one of them days when not many people are out. This backpack's heavy today. I don't know why. Right, I'll get me stuff out. I've got me webbing. I'll webbing it off. I'll get me camp set up. Sees in a bit.
right, I'm good this side. Just gonna get me top up, point it, the back facing that way, and that's me covered all the way around. It's in front of me top. You won't see us from the path. You can't see us from here. I'll bring you back when I've got me top up. Right guys, folks, I'm all set up, all covered, all hid. There's no path, that's just a farmer's field. A bit worried about that path up there. But the people that have been past haven't took a blind bit of notice and have just walked straight on. Hidden in plain sight. Right, I'll show you my gear set up. Just the usual. Whoop, there's my finger. Flex tail. Pillow. Berghaus, Berghaus. Sleeping pad. Army. Bivy. Gore-Tex Grady. You could sleep out in the winter in this just by itself. The usual OEX 300 because it's not going to be cold tonight. If it was going to be really cold, I'd have me 900, me four season, season, me four, <laughs> me four season sleeping bag. I have four Budweiser pork chunks. Stir fry, and I have a packet of Blue Dragon beef stir fry, but it's around here somewhere as usual. You know what I'm like, I forget everything, and it's going to be done. It's definitely around here, so it's in one of my pockets or something. In my Trangia set, old trusty Trangia, absolutely amazing. These lightweight, multiple pots. Wind cheater, fantastic. So, you know what time it is now. It's time for a can, time to chill. Oh, it's warm. Season a bit. Right, this is the worst top tent setup. Sun's ringing us. Right, quick tinny time, time to relax, and I'll get the shout outs out the way and what I want to say about that. Um, so, shout outs, Flossy Bob, thank you for all your support. Craig Jones, Cheryl Jones, I can't remember the names, I'm, I go blank when I try to remember names. Craig Jones, Cheryl Jones. Thank you. Sherry Aston. Thank you. Oh, who else? What's on name? Oh, God, I can't remember. Shit, there's another two or three I can't remember. Um, I'll, I'll do it later on. I'll have a look through my phone and there, uh, thingies, but what's happening now is I'm getting inundated with uh, people wanting shout outs and I can't remember. Um, it's getting too much, but what I will do, because my show's doing well. Is special occasions, I'll do shout outs. Um, I'm coming up to 10,000 subscribers, so be a good shout outs there. Um, coming up to half a million views, well I'm not, but it will be soon. Special occasions. Um, what's a name? Oh, God, I can't. I'll do it later on. But like I say, I'm getting inundated with too many requests, and um, I don't mind it at all. But I'm forgetting who they are and the names. I'm not good. 
So, um, like I say, special occasions. It's time to chill now. Everything's up, set. Time to have arse an hour to myself. I've just knocked the camera. I was filming there and all to do this. And then my son rang. It's my granddaughter's birthday a couple of days ago. And I wanted to see her presents, what she's bought, uh, what she's bought um, with the money that I sent down for her and stuff. So I've just done that. So that's made us happy. I'm absolutely chuffed seeing my little granddaughters running around with the prezzies. Can't beat it. Got you. Jen Stone, another fantastic viewer. Very supportive. That was her name. And there's two lads. There was another lad in the comment section. And the one from the previous video where I said you haven't gotten in contact with us. Um, and there was another lad. Oh, God. I'll try and get all these. But like I say, I've got a bad memory. And um, I'll lose you in the comments. And so, never mind. I'll try. Like I say, don't take it personal. But top scent set up, everything set up, time to relax. It's not gonna be dark for a bit, so we'll do the cooking while it's light. Because once it's dark, I can't put a light on up here. I'm gonna get caught. But I will later on, I'll put the light on. Maybe it's 10 o'clock, 11, when there's nobody going past us. This is a very busy place. <laughs> Oh God, uh, and these tops, the worst setup on the planet. It's three and a half meter by three and a half meter and I'm trying to squeeze into a one meter space. I should have gotten a small one or I might get a bigger bivy bag or a, a one man tent, I think. I think that's what I might have to do. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as I go along. Myself a good wiser because you keep taking the piece out of us for drinking fosters. <laughs> but um I think we'll be cooking next. I'll show you around the camp. Yeah, so everything's cool at the minute. I've been here about an hour, so nobody's seen us. Rang the police. Seeing there's a poor vault in the bushes. <laughs> Which is a good thing, because I'm not. Oh, happy days. It's always nice once you set up and you haven't been caught and all the planning and all the preparation and all the buying the food and everything. I haven't been caught yet, but I dread the day I've got to pack up and go back home. And I dread it. And talking as well and all because it's quite noisy with the with all the traffic going past it's right under my feet so I can speak up loud there's a big there's a path up there about five meters away obviously they'll not hear me talking not with this traffic so that's a good thing So, I think I'll have arson out of myself and we'll get the cooking on. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, folks. Din din's o'clock. Um, I 
Hawk. In, in like clean oil. Blue dragon, sticky teriyaki. Stir fry sauce. So put that in and I'll drown the pork. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh no, I am. Oh, I don't see I'm getting it again. I love you more. could smell this. Tranjaya sets are the way to go. 100 plus Don't forget, this is still camp cooking, so it's got to be done the way it's got to be done.
I can nip the bag open and squeeze it out and then when you pour it away it's not open and it's not squeezing everything teriyaki sauce all over here all over it down 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 beef sorry beef pork teriyaki sauce that cook that for another 10 minutes on low and you'll bring I'll bring you back when I'm doing the stir fry Right, stir fry in. Isn't it sizzling? Quickly blanch these off, heat them up, go on over to them. running out
perfekte Mungo. That will do. Just about ready. Right. Bring his back when I'm plated up. There we have it folks, pork, teriyaki sauce and stir fry, meal fit for a stealth camera. Am I filming? Yeah. Sorry for the noise. Absolutely beautiful. Big fan of Blue Dragon and Tranjayu sets. Gorgeous. I'll put that down. I'm a quick arson out of myself. And then we'll have a the q and a time. Questions and answers. It's a bit busy at the minute because it's, um, it's just that time of day basically. In half an hour, the traffic will calm down. <coughs> Ooh, that's spicy. And we'll have a big crack on. So folks, she looked there. I wait till she goes past. On the main road. Cars going past directly underneath us. If you look through there, that's the edge of the wall. I can literally touch it. So this definitely goes down as a metre away from the public. I'll just come out round the back of me. The back of the worst top tent setup you've ever seen in your life. I shouldn't be out here you like but path there. I'm out in the open now I shouldn't be path there. The worst top 10 setup in the history <laughs> of top 10 setups. I'm getting back in now. Oh, the pegs come out, that's why. Oh, that one's come out as well. That's why it looks shit. We'll go around the other side. A bit exposed here, like. And there she is. That's what you call hidden in plain sight. You like me, yeah? Like that. It's my door flap. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear you me. Right. Have a big crack on. 
Right folks, comment section. Um, there's not really much I can say apart from thanks for all the love and support. The comments, the likes, subscribes. Um, I keep saying it and, I can't, and I'll never stop saying it either. I'm blown away. I'm overwhelmed by all the support and how good my channel's going. Obviously, there's a couple of trolls and there's a few nasty comments here and there. But that makes no difference to me whatsoever. You know, absolutely no difference. Because even a troll is a view and a comment. Support the channel, they might not know it, but it's all computer analytics. And the more people comment, the more people like, subscribe, and create computer noise at YouTube. And the further up the channel you get, the more recommendations you get. It just bumps you up anyway. So they're trolling you, but they're bumping you up anyway. So thanks, trolls. <laughs> You're more than welcome to trollers. You're more than welcome for your sarky comments, your nasty comments really makes no difference to me but I would say that was two three four comments out of maybe 700 so I'll take that I was expecting worse actually <laughs> when I set my channel up I thought I would get hammered but um, no, I'm actually blown away the amount of love and support I'm getting is just unreal and the more I'm getting the more it's pushing us out there to do more and like I say I kind of believe it I am I'm absolutely overwhelmed I get a bit emotional actually um, yeah so thank you very much and the trolls <laughs> because I can tell you what after I've done the video and I've edited it and it's a Sunday night I have a couple of cans lovely warm house all the hard work's done and some of the comments I just howl I just cry with laughter you know um, honestly <laughs> it makes my idea really really does all the lovely comments and the trolls on a Sunday night all the hard work's done packed away showered it's all done and I just sit back at the comments and love it. In fact, that's my favourite part of camping, is the Sunday night when it's all done and I'm answering all your lovely, all your lovely comments. And the trolls, I used to comment, but now I just delete, delete. Any negativity, I just delete. It's not even worth the hassle because <clears throat> If I try and explain myself to people, a troll, or somebody who's being sarcastic, or somebody who's, I don't know, you tell me why they want to make a comment about that long, they spend 20 minutes of their lives criticising me, but the thing is, I just delete them now instantly, because by the time I've tried to explain myself to somebody, I could have answered 20 lovely people back in the same time and the amount of effort that I've answered a troll and it makes no difference what you say <laughs> at all you're wasting your time and your effort so I'd rather put my time and the effort into people who appreciate what I do if you don't like it don't watch but even if you don't like it and you watch it's still a view <laughs> So it's a win-win anyway. <laughs> so class, and but I'm loving it. I was a bit apprehensive about starting my YouTube channel up, whether it would fail or whether it would flop. And but to be truthful, it's doing fantastic. It's doing a lot, lot better than what I thought. And if it was doing half as good, I'd still be doing it. So brilliant. I'm over the mill. Couldn't be more happier sitting on the unrealistic a grassy knoll 
talking to you. Of the team. <laughs> It's a bit noisy though, that's the only thing. Right, I'm going to chillax and I'll bring you back when it's dark, 12 o'clock at night or something like that. Say he's in a bit ski. Well folks, only one thing left to do, and that's get in me pit and get some sleep. I will see you in the morning. I thought somebody was walking past there. See you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning. I've been awake about two hours and it's just started lashing it down. So before everything gets soaking. Oh God. Bit of a miserable night that one. Right. I'm gonna get packed away. I'll see you when I'm packed. I'm half packed. Because I've been up the last two hours waiting for it to get light, but um I'll see you in a bit. Oh dear me. That was a roughing. There you go folks, leave no trace and all that malarkey. <coughs> Another one in the bag. So, if you like that, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> bye bye.